Hi everyone, this is Yushin. Welcome back. In this video, I want to share with you guys a new method that I recently discovered. And it's how you can print on polymer clay with a regular printer. So the material we're going to need is the back of an sticker paper. And then you're going to print on the glossy side of the sticker paper with a regular printer. So that's the side that the sticker is usually sticked on. And then you're going to cut out your shapes using a cookie cutter on your bomber clay. You're going to make sure that your surface is clean and free of dusts. And then you're going to take out a white blank sheet of printing paper. And then you're going to transfer all these polymer clay to the printing paper. If you fire it directly on a ceramic tile without the printing paper, then your polymer clay is going to have shiny spots on it. After putting these polymer clay cutted pieces onto the printing paper, you're going to press your um, pattern onto these polymer clay pieces. And then you're just going to leave it there uh, while it's baking. And also you're going to put another piece of ceramic tile on top of these polymer clay pieces. This just gives the clay and the pattern more pressure. This will also help reduce the amount of bubbles in your polymer clay. After it's baked, you can peel away the paper and then we are going to sand the pieces. Without sanding, the lines look kind of blurred up. But after you sand it, the line will become very smooth and thin. The only thing is the color will change. The color after sanding is more like a brown color instead of a black. And when you're sanding these pieces, you don't have to go from 80 to 100 to 120 and then move your way up. You can just start at a high grit. I initially found this method on YouTube and it's an alternative to stick and peel. It's a method for acid etching and that's on metal. But after I experimented with polymer clay, I think it worked and it worked quite well. So here I am sharing it with you guys. I've never tried printing colors because I don't have a colored printer, but you can always try it and experiment it on your own. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.